Hello, everybody. This is Treebeard, an Ent. He likes long walks on the beach, protecting the forest, and horrible, vicious murder. Yeah, um, so I was screwing around with witchery, uh, trying to get those things, these poppet shelf things, uh, because they act like chunk loaders. They're like poor man chunk loaders, considering that the only other chunk loader in this game... Chunk is this guy right here from Mine Factory Reloaded, and it's expensive to bake. I mean, I have the parts to make it. It's just complicated, and I just haven't gotten there yet. Um, and it takes RF to power, and I haven't really fiddled with it to see if I can power it with any of my setups yet. Uh, give me time. I'll, I'll figure that out later. But, uh, yeah, so one of the things you need to build these things are these weird purple diamonds type things and to do that you need to basically get saplings of these trees right here uh they're 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 rowan wood saplings and uh so i chopped down the first one and all of a sudden i turn around there's this ent like zerg rushing my face trying to kill me and it's like wicked they have like 200 health Though, they don't seem to take that much, they don't seem to, you know, dish out that much damage. Um, I kind of kicked its ass kind of easily. Didn't really think of it, uh, but uh, did a little research, and if you cut down witch, witchery trees, uh, the Ents show up every now and then and try to kill you. Well, just for shits and giggles, I captured one. <laughs> Just for the fun of it, I am I was using uh, this thing right here, Entity Mover from Random Things. Uh, I, gra I made one of those so I could uh, just run around, grab a whole bunch of chickens, and put them in there faster than waiting for them to lay eggs and crap like that. Which, for the record, this thing doesn't work that fast. Not that fast at all. And it's a little glitchy. Um, the pipe that I'm using... Uh, from Thermal Expansion. There we go. The item ducks. I couldn't remember the name of them. The item ducks seemed to be a little glitchy when this chunk was loaded, but that chunk wasn't. I figured the items just wouldn't go through the pipes, but apparently it tries, and then it gets stuck in the pipes, and then it just kind of fails miserably. I, I, I don't really understand it, but if we hit F9, boop, we can see all the chunks and we can see that there's this chunk here but the lockers are in a separate chunk and uh, so I put another poppet shelf here I think it will work it shouldn't give me too many problems um, I went off really 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 far so that these chunks uh, unloaded or at least they wouldn't have been loaded without a chunk loader and it seemed to work so yeah, I don't know. What I'm hoping is that these guys will keep doing their thing, and then when I come back tomorrow, uh, I'll have a lot more chicken. Yeah, I hope. Uh, I am recording this just a few hours after... Uh, yeah, just a few hours after the last video uh, for a couple reasons. One, I want to get a little bit ahead of, this, ahead of the game. And two... I feel a little limited on what I can do because I promised myself I wouldn't build anything major, do any of the, the huge uh, automated stuff things. Yeah, words, they fail me. I wouldn't do any of the automated stuff without recording it. Um, so I'm a little limited on what I can do. Boop. Boop. Coffee beans. Yeah, so uh, so I'm recording again. It'll get me a little ahead of the game. Uh, so if I have a bad day, chances are if I'm going to have a bad day, it's going to be tomorrow because I'm out of my painkillers and my teeth still hurt a lot. So if I'm going to have a bad day, it's going to be tomorrow. Oh, and it keeps doing this where things pop out. Hmm. Pop. Yeah, okay. Uh, 
I might actually have to replace this stuff with solid blocks. I was hoping I could use glass, that way it would look kind of neat. You could see all the chickens in there and everything. But I think I'm going to have to replace these parts with uh, something solid. Because items like to flow through glass fairly easily. But they don't flow as easily through solid blocks. So this might actually work better with like smooth stone or something. So I don't know. I'll fiddle with it. Anyway, so today we are going to be working on the smithy, I've decided. Because it's just getting to be a pain in the butt to sit around, twiddle my thumbs, waiting for my improvised fern eye to do their things. I mean, they take forever. Uh, and yes, I could get like the uh, electric furnace or whatever it's called from thermal expansion. I think it's faster. And there are probably other things I could use, but I don't want to be going into the advanced stuff without you guys being here because, well, that's what I do. Yeah, um... All right, so I'm going to be making the smithy. It's going to be a small version of the smithy. It's not going to be a, a huge one with 16 ferni. It's just going to be a small one with 8 ferni. Uh, when I do the Mark IV, whenever that's going to be, further down the line, I'll guarantee it, I'll go ape shit because uh, with, the, with the Mark IV, I can make like a, you know, a 40, 50... A hundred. Hmm. I wonder what the limitation on that would be. Yeah, I can, I can go ape shit with uh, Mark IV. I could put... Uh, I think the maximum in one row I can make is... Uh, 256 with how it's set up. But, uh, yeah, I doubt I'm going to spend all that time and effort... Alright, so I need to be in bat form because it's going to be significantly easier that way. And we are going to work on this. Now right off the bat, this is going to look very similar to the Mark II. And there's a reason for that, and that's because at the very beginning, it is the Mark II. But there is going to be a slight difference. Now, in the Mark II... Above these, I'd put another row of hoppers, but I'm not going to. I'm going to put chests and trap chests, and we're going to have to uh, switch them up. So uh, it's going to be chest, trap chest, chest, trap chest, so on and so forth. The whole way down the line, I'm trying to coordinate my hands in all the buttons that I have to push to do this stuff. Come on. No. There we go. Okay. Boop. Now, why am I doing it this way? Well, for a reason that probably nobody's seen. And it's because of the... Uh, uh, well, it's because... How do I explain it? If you use the, uh, the, the the smithy that I created before and you put in more than six different types of cookable items and a lot of them. So y you do have to use a considerable amount of different types of cookable items. It breaks the system. It, it does. Uh, everything... You know, the hoppers fill up and everything gets jammed down on one side, and then one side doesn't get fuel or, you know, uses all the fuel. And it just, it can break. It's not likely to come up and be a problem in uh, vanilla because there aren't really that many cookable things. But if you go nuts and use all of the cookable items all at once, I'm going to need more hoppers. Holy crap. You know, I figured, oh, I'll just make a whole crap ton of hoppers. This is an extremely expensive thing to make. But it works. Uh, let's see. 
Okay. Um, I'm starting to run out of wood too. <laughs> this is how much crap I'm doing. I'm running out of wood. But uh, another thing that I'm going to be making, one of the things that I'm going to be making, the side effect of this is that I'm going to have a whole bunch of spare wood. I hope that's enough. That should be enough. Um, I guess I'll find out. But it should be enough. Because I don't plan on using the hoppers underneath it. Because I can. I can use the hoppers underneath it. Um, ah, I keep losing my train of thought. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little out of practice for doing this stuff. Um, yeah. Wait, no, I don't want that there. Pop that. Pop that. Yeah, I, I, I'm a little out, pra out of practice concentrating on one thing and talking about another at once. <sighs> oh, I probably lost some things in hoppers, didn't I? Yes. Okay, that's all of them. Yeah, you got to keep track of what you're working with because if you lose things in the hoppers and they get into the uh, furnaces without you knowing, it will break things. So you got to be careful. All right. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Yes. And then we go out and up, out and up, and then around and down this way. All righty. And then we do the same thing here. No, I did that wrong. Fuck. Yeah, no. It's not these hoppers that I need to be focusing on. It's the next hoppers. It's the upper hoppers that I need to be focusing on. Uh, this is getting annoying. Woo. Okay. Yes, okay, that's right, that's right, that's right. So now we need comparators. Boop, boop. And then I need redstone torches. Boop. Boop. And then I need repeaters. Which I could have sworn I grabbed, but apparently not. Now, I was saying something, but I totally forgot what I was saying. Hmm. Yeah, totally don't remember. I've lost it. Don't remember what I was saying. I'm sure if it was important, I'll remember it later. Hmm. Yeah. Do I have anything even to talk about? No, not really. So let's focus on building. All right, so this is the basics of our uh, sm Smithy Mark II. Uh, boop, boop. All right, and then we will work on extending this to make it actually work like we expect it to work. All right, so let's see. Comparators. Boop. 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 Yeah, just like this. I'm trying to remember how to build this thing. This thing's actually a little bit complex. Um... Oh shit, I'm out of smooth stone. I don't think I have enough spare smooth stone. We might have to be make the re making the rest out of cobblestone. Yeah, I don't have enough spare smooth stone. Oh well. No fears. Alright, so you come out the whole way and around and then in. And then same with you. Compelling TV, I'm sure. Plop. Plop, 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 plop. Alrighty. So if I remember correctly, I'm going to need more repeaters, so I'm going to need to make some repeaters. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, I'm going to need to make some more repeaters because I know I need repeaters here because 
we don't have enough signal strength to get as far as I need to go. Yeah, because I need to put a repeater where? Well, somewhere around here because we're not making it to that one. So we'll put a repeater here. And then I guess we'll have to do the same thing over here at some point in time. But of course I need to make more repeaters because... Oh wait, no, I had eight repeaters, didn't I? Yes, I did. I had eight repeaters. So let's see, where are we putting you? Let's make you even. Boop. Okay, so repeater there. Repeater there. Oh, crap. I did this wrong. Um, down. Pop you, pop you. You have to come one more out because of your design. Yes. Yes. Excellent. There we go. Okay. So now you're off. You're off. And as things go through here, that turns on. Yes. Okay. So we are set up and we are ready to go. Hmm. Now, how we did this in vanilla, uh, basically this was the input for the cookable stuff, and this was the input for the burnable stuff. Basically, all the, the coal and charcoal and basically whatever else you wanted to put into the system. Now, if you wanted to put things into the system, like a whole bunch of different types of burnable stuff, you would come across the same problem. What you would get is you would get one kind of thing in here, five kinds of things in here and then the hoppers that were up here everything you know the, the the hoppers down below would fill up so you couldn't put anything more in them so these hoppers would go or well these hoppers would be the only thing left to catch what was there but these hoppers aren't designed for catching they're designed for transporting down the line so if these hoppers down here were full, well, then these hoppers, you know, when this light would, or this redstone signal would turn off, well, n the item wouldn't get pulled out, so everything would still be crammed down to this side, and then this hopper would fill, and it would just mess with the system. It would break things. Now, like I said, that's probably not something you'll come across in vanilla, but it is something you can come across fairly easily in modded Minecraft because there are this many different types of ores. I mean, there's uh, like three different types of aluminum. Okay, at least two different types of aluminum. Uh, I think there's only one type of tin, one type of copper. But I mean, uh, gold, silver, uh, lead, iron, copper, uh, tin. Wait, did I say tin twice? here in accounting no uh aluminum ferrous and another different type of aluminum that's freaking nine different types of things you could just jam into the system all at once and that's just ores so yeah it could it can mess with things um well what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do something a little bit different uh let's see how do i do this i need can i do this with tin I want to make the reinforced chests. Uh, boop. I can make iron, gold, diamond, emerald, copper, tin. Okay, so I can make a reinforced tin chest. Um, do I have anywhere near enough tin? Ooh, I don't have anywhere near enough iron either because I just used it all to make hoppers. Crap. Um, and there's no way in hell I'm spending that much diamond because... Oh, it's just... Wait, what? Oh, pff, okay, I see. Oh, I just need one block of gold and one block of iron. All right. Can I make tin? Emerald, diamond, copper, tin. All right, I should have enough tin and I should have enough gold. So let's do that. 
Um, Got to use different types of reinforced chests to do this. Oh, I need wood. I need wood. I need wood. Well, I have plenty of wood at least. But yeah, you got to use different types of... No, not there. There. Wait. No. There. Two, two, two. I can't count and talk at the same time. It's kind of annoying. No, I just want one, 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 one. Because that'll give me a reinforced gold chest. And then use tin. And this will give me a reinforced tin chest. No, it won't. Uh, but tin is right here. Boop, boop. Yeah, tin. Thermal expansion, Galacticraft, thermal expansion, Tinker's Construct. Uh, this is thermal expansion tin. But it doesn't work. You bastard, you're going to make me cook iron. Oh, and it's going to be so slow. Crap. Ugh. <sighs> I didn't want to do this, but whatever. Boop. Boop. It's at least faster this way if you split it up between all four. Uh, let's go to bed. Oh, I have a creeper sitting on my smithy. I'm going to have to light that up so they don't do that. Because I really... That's the last thing I want to do right now is have a my creeper blow up my smithy. Ugh. I've already had too many creepers blow things up. I had a creeper blow up my house. Kind of pissed me off. I had to rebuild the house. I seem to be slowing down. Uh, my thought process is definitely slowing down. This is why they say do not operate heavy machinery on the bottle of the medication I'm taking. Is because my brain is slowing down. I it, This is going to be a shitty episode, isn't it? Ah. Uh, but it needs to be done because I want to make the smithy because I want to cook up all this beautiful, beautiful ore that I have. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I've lost it. Uh, okay, this is going to be a short episode. I'm just going to make the smithy and I'm going to move on. Uh, we'll, we'll just wait for the next episode. It's not going to be a good episode. I'm sorry. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. Um... I can't even stop saying sorry. I can't think straight long enough to actually say anything interesting, which kind of, it's kind of a disappointment. Um, okay, I saw a creeper around here. I really want to kill him before I move on. Or did I see the skeleton? I think I saw the skeleton. Where did the creeper go? Ooh, I got another bow. I can use it with the one that I other got. I can't talk. All right, so uh, we have, everything should be working. Uh, yes, so let's test this out. Let's get some fuel. Actually, let's empty my, my inventory so I can fill it, like, completely. Uh, boop. Hoppers go in there. Chests go in here. Which one's the normal chest? That one's the normal chest. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I... Uh, uh, told you I'm lost. My brain doesn't work very well. Uh, I did tell you guys about my uh, teeth. My messed up tooth thing. Yeah. If you don't know that story, go watch the first episode of this series. Uh, I go over it and explain that I'm missing several teeth now. Um, let's throw you in there for right now. Put you in the backpack. Oh, let's put you and you in the backpack. That'll free up enough space. And then I can just grab all my co or charcoal. And then I'll throw all my charcoal in the um, iron chest. And then we should watch this start blinking. Yep, and it's blinking. Slowly. Ever so slowly. Yeah, um, remember what I was talking about? How the Mark IV can have like 255 in one row? I think the main limitation of the Mark IV is actually going to be how long it takes for hoppers to do their thing. Um, and I might not even bother with the Mark IV. I might just start with... Uh, I might just rethink the entire setup and use mods the entire way. Because um, what I was thinking, what I was originally thinking, the main reason that we're limited to 
uh, 15 hoppers or 15 furnaces in one line is because of the limitation of redstone. See how it says power 15 up at the top there, power 14, power 13, the whole way down? Well, once we get to power one, obviously that's the last furnace we can, the last set of hoppers we can use and the last furnace we can use. Any further, we have to use a repeater and repeaters kind of mess with mess up the system. They don't work very well. They kind of break things. Uh, the way around that is to use uh, Project Red, the uh, redstone wire. Uh, wire, 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 wire. Let's see. Yeah, red alloy wire. Okay. Uh, boop. Ooh, okay. I know why I have all that redstone now. <laughs> Because I am going to be using the red alloy wire. Uh, and this doesn't work like uh, Red Power did. Project Red is a little different. There's no alloy furnace. So you've got to do... Uh, you've got to make the red iron compound and then cook it and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, we're going to be cooking that for a little while. But then... Uh, but we have charcoal in there so we could start cooking things up so i can fill my inventory with all of the stuff i have to cook yay boop and i can make or i can cook up all of my ores finally oh but i don't have my output crap um Hoppers. Hoppers are the way to go here. Uh, I'm going to need a chest. And I'm going to need a couple hoppers. Because thinking about it, uh, I could do this with the item ducts. Uh, and that's, what, that's exactly what I was going to do. I was going to do it with the item ducts. But to do it with the item ducts, I need pneumatic servos. I need eight pneumatic servos to get it to pull things out of the furnace automatically. But, I mean... Okay, the hoppers are a little bit more expensive, but I don't need pneumatic servos. It just does it. Um, so, yeah, there we go. We have our auto, our, our smithy. Um, I was thinking about connecting the pipe over to the lockers over there and then putting a whole bunch of lockers for the different types of metal. But, no, these lockers are exclusively for the infinite stuff. Uh, these are my victory lockers. Yay. Uh, this one's empty. I actually did that in case something else got into this system here and was screwing with it. Uh, turns out that's not the problem. The problem was the chunk loaders. Uh, so I just left the large locker here for the next item that I make infinite. Um, it's working. It's doing its thing. Uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. The... The reason that we have so many feathers and so little chicken is because I told I wasn't joking when I was saying I was running low on food, uh, so I was eating the chicken as it was making it. Uh, but I did get some baked potatoes, so I just I've been using them, letting the chicken locker fill up. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I'll let you know tomorrow uh, in the next episode of. Quest for creative. Oh, God. This episode needs to end. I'm sorry, but this episode does need to end. Um, I'll let you know in the next episode of Quest for Creative if the this works while I'm logged off. Um, I'm not running it as single player. I am running a server for the chunk loaders. And that's pretty much the entire reason. Um, no, no, there is another reason. I have better backups on my server. I have a better backup situation on my server, uh, and you can control backups better with MC My Admin. So I'm running that. Uh, no, I'm not planning on letting other people join the server. Um, yeah. Another thing, what I'll probably be doing. Uh, I told you the debate was the Tinker's Contract Smeltery or the Smithy, and I did decide to build the Smithy. Uh, I will be building the uh, smeltery. Um, 
probably right here, because it's just going to be the smeltery. I'm not going to be using it in any of the infinite machines. I mean, I will be using the smeltery later on at, in infinite machines, probably at least two of them that I can think of off the top of my head, possibly three. Uh, but yeah, definitely two of them. Uh, but that's that's later on. Uh, I, however, want to make a nice sword, uh, pickaxe, and shovel, and basically all the tools, because getting silk touch is a giant, giant pain in the ass. Um, I mean, I do have Fortune 2 on my diamond pickaxe now, which is cool, but with the, the, the Tinker's Construct, I can make one with uh, moss, and it will repair itself. So, that's cool. Uh, you might be wondering what this thing is. Uh, it is where I hunt Endermen right now because I need Ender Pearls. Uh, I need Ender Pearls woo, for a couple of the infinite machines that I'm going to be making. I'm going to be using the spawner underneath there and the spawner underneath there, and I need block teleporters to use them. Uh, there's a witch spawner in that direction. I think we could just make it out on the horizon there. Uh, and then there's another uh, Burning Man over there. There's actually a bunch of them around here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using those for infinite stuff. And I'll probably be using those spawners for other infinite stuff. And now I'm rambling. Before I couldn't think of what to say, now I can't shut up. Um, I'm going to stop talking here. I'm just going to end the episode here before I do something stupid or before I pass out on the keyboard or something really, really insanely stupid. Um, so I'm going to say see you guys in the next episode. Uh, hopefully it will be better than this one. I apologize again. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next episode. And uh, yeah, as always, keep playing the game and have fun as the sun sets.